Hey, what's up guys? We are looking at a short VOD review, um, so probably just going to check this one out, um, you know, as soon as possible. Um, this is a 11CR, 1100CR Warrior, and we're versing two double DPS games. The reason why, you know, I wanted to show this one is that a lot of people at lower ratings, if you're just kind of getting into Arena, you'll be mainly versing... Um, a lot of double DPS, right? So I think your main thing at the moment when you're versing double DPS is to kind of work out, you know, what's the strategy? What do you do? What defensives do you press, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we are a Venthyr warrior, so we don't have access to like file and stuff like that. Um, and we're versing Havoc and Marksman, right? So let's let's have a look at the game. It's a short one, so you know we can see easily where the mistakes are made. So our prop pally gets uh, incapped here, right? And at this stage, you know we got two options. We're right next to the pillar, and it's marksman hunter, and the DH can't really connect if we line now. But we kind of continue going in, and then the hunt gets casted, right? This is the issue um, because your prop pally's in CC, he can't like bop you, he can't help, he can't hodge this. You get hunted here. And immediately your health drops about 5k. It's not super big. We should have probably instantly parried here and then, um, you know, gone. You're already in deep descent. So if you parry here, you're, you're taking 50% less damage. So we trinket. Uh, I think I'm not sure what we trinketed. What do we trinket there? We trinket the root, which I think you got to make sure that you're actually in a stun, right? Before you trinket. You got you to just be careful, because you can break the root with just avatar. So we should have probably parried around here, just because then, like, if we parried the second that hunt happened, we would have parried the stun, which means that during the stun, we're not taking that much damage. But instead, we see this hunter who's casting aim shots. So against like something like a hunter, you want to get on top of them, and then you've got your disarm, and if you disarm his aim shot, he can't really get out of it. If he trinkets the disarm, you can stun him, and if he gets away, you can fear the off target. So against double DPS, you really want to take like utilize your fear and your stun. Um, and then your paladin should have probably bopped you here, right? You should be bopped. It'll get rid of this stun, I think. It might not get rid of the stun, but it'll stop all this damage coming in from the hunter. So this is a hunter's go. Um, we we rally and then we parry and then we ignore pain, which is fine. This is all stuff, but th this should have happened pretty much the second you saw the hunt. So I think your issue here is knowing, you know, when to use your defensives, right? So kind of dying here. We haven't stunned yet, right? So so really, what we should be doing. Is trying to get out there and stun the hunter to control the hunter and then fear the demon hunter right and then your paladin can kind of get like set up he's not going to just uh he's not going to be stuck in cc the entire time he can throw a word of glory on you he can build up his holy power he can flash of light you all this good stuff right so clearly the issue is here that um we have definitely underestimated how much damage all these abilities do um, instead of like firstly you have your static defenses which are like uh, parry and you know rally all this kind of stuff but you also have like the off defenses right things that aren't necessarily defensives that can be used as defensives like stun and fear or even just leap right so if it's night fae if the second that hunt came down you could have just leapt away and they wouldn't have, uh, they wouldn't have had an easy way to get to you. And then your pally would be out of CC. He could hodge one of these, and you guys could blow him up. So that's that first one. Um, I think that I think you did a really good job, like coming in there and like and putting this through because it is one of those games that people could be like, what what could you get out of a thirty second game, right? But there's actually a fair bit. All right, let's jump into this one. It's a bit longer. Um, I think the first minute is. This so let's look at your talents. Master and Commander disarm death sentence. I don't know if you do. You end up actually picking disarm. Yeah, so disarm's good against the hunter. 
it, it's fine. It's um, just kind of like you might want a banner here for the traps and stuff like that, but it doesn't make a big difference. So we should probably be in descents now because they're going to both open you out of stealth really, really hard. So something to take note of. There we go. We swap into it. Um, just waiting for them to come out. Let's see. Let me find out when they come out. Not really. Okay, so we get here with the rapid fire, right? So we move back line of sight, which is fine, right? It's okay. This boomkin's probably gonna come out from behind you. Okay, we leap, we get rooted. So when you get rooted, you should probably avatar this straight away or blaze storm. Okay, so then um, the convoke comes out and it's coming from behind you. So, like, if you're not comfortable stopping this Convoke, mainly maybe because you're not you're really used to it or whatever, you should probably just stick to the pillar. It'll mean the Convoke's right in front of you and you can just stun it. But this Convoke comes out and it's probably a Paladin's bubble. But your Paladin doesn't react in time. Um, you do react in time, so I will give you that. But you had Rally up for him at the end. You had fear for this hunter, which would have just stopped half the damage, right? And you have, I imagine, spell reflect. Yeah, you spell reflect, which is good. So you need to use every single button against these double DPS comms to live this convoke, because then this dude dies. But outside of this, you and your paladin almost need to press every single button and just live this convoke. So what he can do is he can bubble, and then he can give you like the magic bop, and you're absolutely fine. You're chilling. There's no way they can kill either of you. And by the time that all that stuff falls off, then essentially one of them falls over. So um, I think we can see our issue here. We really need to get a little bit better at, um, you know, making sure we use our buttons in time. Our positioning is kind of a little bit off. And... Generally, we need to communicate with the Paladin about what we're going to do about the issue, right? So, if I'm looking at a comp like this, and I'm playing with a prop pally, right? I'm going to say, look, are you going to bop and bubble me? Right, are you going to use a Guardian thing and bubble? And then that completely negates their huge 2-minute incarn go. And then you can go kill something in that time, right? Um, but I think the issue is here, no one communicated what happens when this druid convokes. Realistically, as two melee, like you're probably not going to be able to get to him in time as double DPS to like stop the convoke. So instead, you just have to have a plan about what you're going to do during the convoke. So hopefully, this was useful. Um, uh, please, like, if you can get a a warrior healer against warrior heal, like a a healer DPS game going, I think that's going to be really really useful. If uh, you know. Ball is a friend of yours, and you know, you guys always play twos, that's fine too. Um, try and get to a longer game so we can look for it more. But let's start with those basics, right? Let's start to use our buttons a little bit earlier. Let's look at using fear and stun as peels against double DPS. And this is a note for like all of you guys who are playing Warrior at low ratings. Um, it's, it's mainly going to be double DPS, and the way to beat that is just to use your buttons in time really, really quickly then do your burst, right? Don't, don't like, pop all your defensives and leap. Like, you pop all your defensives, you trade with these defensive cooldowns, and you should be doing more consistent damage than them, so you eventually win. Um, yep, yeah, so if you have a VOD review, check out the Discord. Uh, really would love to see more of these. We've gotten a couple now, and I think every single person who sent them through has really, has really been happy with, you know, being able to see another perspective on their game. Um, if you're a viewer and you want to comment on this, uh, please just know, no, nothing rude, just constructive comments, right? Um, it takes like a lot of balls to go and send in your game, especially your losses to, to like a public platform and especially the low rating where, you know, people are, people are kind of trolls and stuff. So, you know, be positive. Everyone's still learning. Um, and who knows, like Randy Ravage could be the next Blizzo, you know, <laughs> no, no, no one knows, right? Cause it's, uh. People improve very quickly and in different ways in this game, and I think the fact that you're sending this through at your rating kind of shows that you have the mentality for improvement. So, excellent stuff. Um, cool, I have more videos coming out. 
over the next couple of days. So check them out. Peace.